Cancer, hello Cancer, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Let's find out what's going on with Cancer and what does Cancer need to know. All right, so right off the bat, I'm picking up on a very tranquil, peaceful, emotionally stable energy here. Someone who's really found peace within their heart. You may practice meditation, breathing exercises like box breathing. Okay, let's get a little more context. This feels like a very spiritual person who is very good at dealing with life's ups and downs, especially all of those emotions that come up that maybe sometimes would throw us off of our center, but this person feels very peaceful, very centered in their own heart and in their own mind. But I need to know, what, what else do we need to know about this very emotionally intelligent, emotionally mature person? Okay. There's a decision that you need to make if this is you or this King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could be you or somebody that you're dealing with. I've got Libra and Scorpio here as well coming through. Venus and Scorpio. The moon in Libra. It seems like there's a predicament here. It seems like you are doing your best to stay calm under pressure. To stay calm when all of those emotions we were just talking about, you know, life throws things at you, sends your way all sorts of challenges, some kind of triggering event here. It's like you're trying to stay calm under pressure. You have an important decision to make. And the way that you approach this situation is going to directly influence the outcome of the situation, okay? So you have a choice. How are you going to respond to this? And I feel like you're trying your best to stay cool, relax, stay calm, stay centered. You may be feeling some very intense negative emotions at this time, but you're also very emotionally intelligent and a very spiritual person. So you have a dilemma here because the Seven of Cups, I mean, that... <laughs> that is very negative. I'm feeling a lot of very toxic, corrosive em emotions, mixed feelings, mixed emotions, and uncertainty. There's a lack of clarity here. Let's get a little bit more. Because, you know, right off the bat, we were picking up on someone who's very centered within themselves, and yet this very centered, mature person is faced with a difficult set of circumstances that are bringing up a lot of mixed feelings, negative emotions. Yeah, if we are centered and calm and tranquil and at peace within ourselves, it doesn't mean we never feel negative emotions like resentment or even contempt or hatred. It's like anger, you know, this is all natural. This is all a part of, of being human. You're having a human experience. So you may be a divine being on earth, but you are still having an earthly human experience here. So let's get a little bit more about this. What does Cancer need to know? And this could be your lover, your partner. This could be somebody that, again, needs to make a choice, perhaps a choice in love. Someone that you're dealing with, okay, starting to see things from a different perspective or a higher perspective. There's a fight here, okay. Queen of Cups and the Four of Wands. Something has got to end. Some, some kind of conflict has got to be resolved here. All right. So you have the power to master your life. There's someone here. It's like you want to take charge of your life. You want to take charge of your future. You want to feel empowered. You don't want to feel like you are trapped or stuck in a toxic situation or a toxic relationship. I've got the Queen of Cups, the Death, the Star. So... Something has got to change. Something is changing. And you've got to make some plans for the future here. This is not something that you want to get involved in. You don't want to be taken off of your path. You don't want something to disturb your peace of mind. So the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups are both here. This is the lovers. 
Masculine and feminine, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. A lot of Scorpio here. I've also got Aries, Capricorn, and Aquarius. So somebody is trying to stay centered and be very mature in the way that they handled this situation. They have some kind of dream for the future. They know where they want to live. They want, know how they want to live. Yeah. Okay. And, and they feel like, look at this. Something is missing. Something's not working. Something it has been difficult and bothersome and troublesome and you know, it's like you need to get ready to go. You need to make changes. On the one hand, we have somebody that may miss you. Like they fear, there is a fear of missing out, a fear of missing out on an opportunity. Or, you know, you you need to go in a new direction to manifest the life of your dreams. Someone has a very romantic vision of the future, the kind of love, the kind of home that they want to have. <clears throat> they want to share this. But something is wrong here. There's a conflict and it's throwing a wrench in the plans. Yeah, okay, so it's like you have a new opportunity opening up for you and you're trying to figure out how exactly to approach this. How are you gonna deal with this conflict? How are you gonna straighten out your life and make the best of it? How are you going to liberate yourself from any sort of toxic relationship or situation to embrace this new beginning to move forward so cancer this is the chariot right here that's you that's your energy so you have this new beginning this new opportunity but look like i said something has got to end for something new to begin it's like you've got to let something go you've got to embrace Peace, embracing the tranquility, embracing the peace, embracing the end, allowing it to go, letting it go. So there's some kind of self-sacrificing or self-sabotaging behavior here. And you're worried about the future. And yet I see a renewed sense of hope and optimism. I see that you're making a choice to rise above it, rising above the pettiness, rising above the, the anger, the hatred, the humiliation, the, the, the defeat. Okay, something has been defeated. Something has been ruined. Something is over. And I feel like you're sorry or somebody is sorry about this, but you've just got to go. You have to keep moving. You have to look forward to the future. It's like you have to accept the things you cannot change and change the things you cannot accept, right? So there's something here about Wow, leaving the past in the past. There may have been a real difficult, heartbreaking situation here and it's time to take action on straightening out your life, getting very clear and making a choice for your own peace of mind. You may need to ignore some outside influences and get very clear in your own mind in order to come to your own conclusions. You may want to block out whatever somebody is saying. You may want to disregard what they are saying. You may need some peace and quiet and alone time to get centered within yourself. You may need some rest and healing. So you may be carrying a lot of stress and tension in your body right now, and you need some sleep and you need some peace and quiet in order to see a way forward, in order to visualize your success moving forward. What would it feel like to be at peace within yourself? How can you bring yourself back to that center? If you've been thrown off your center, it's time to bring yourself back to it. I do see a very important romantic relationship here, but I also see some kind of a struggle and I see pain and I see suffering. It's a mixed bag. This is why someone has mixed emotions, mixed feelings. There may be some confusion. Somebody feels like they don't know what's really going on. Somebody else feels like they need to let something go and move forward with their life to take charge of their life, to master their emotions and master their life, to trust their own power, that they are empowered to change their life and go in a new direction. So I see you going in a new direction because something is over. There seems to be some hard feelings about this. Somebody misses you. 
Like they know that you are leaving. They know that you're going in a new direction, but they miss you and they think about you. They rem they have memories of you together. You may have had a long-term relationship. You may have had a family together. There may have been some kind of long-term, yeah, emotional commitment, financial endeavor, commitment, you know, situation here. There may have been some codependency. <sighs> but you know that something is over. This is, it's, and it's terrible because it feels like the two of you actually are kind of soulmates. Like you had a very important relationship and you were very close and very connected at some point. But it feels like something has ended and it ended really badly. There may have been some kind of betrayal Something blew up in, in their face. And it just, it feels really difficult to deal with it at this time. But you're going to be okay. You're starting to see the higher purpose in all of this. And it's almost like there's a sense of letting it go and, and releasing the, the pain, releasing the baggage, releasing the past, resolving it at least within yourself, even if you aren't necessarily reconciling with this person at this time. Something has been irreparably damaged in this. Some words cannot be unspoken. Certain truths may have come out. Certain painful revelations. Somebody was very insulting. Somebody feels embarrassed. Somebody feels like there is some kind of self-sabotaging behavior here. And even if you love this person, it's like you may love them from a distance. You may love them, but you can't be with them because they're they're addicted. Perhaps they have an addiction and you can't be there with it. They are they need to hit rock bottom before they can get back up. Maybe something like that. There's alcoholism or there there's drugs or there's some kind of self-sabotaging behavior here that is causing a lot of emotions, right? Negative emotions, negative thinking very toxic, very almost like there's abusiveness here as well. I, I don't know, but it just looks like it. It looks like you want to take your power back from a roller coaster ride. You want to find the peace within yourself. You want to have a, a quiet, peaceful life and you don't want to be constantly exposed to this level of sabotaging behavior. You can't enable this kind of thing anymore. You may love this person, but you just can't abide this type of behavior. There's, there's, it feels like there's an argument. There's a lot of tension and stress. There is fighting and, and it's, it's really doing a disservice to the relationship. And it's also wreaking havoc on your nervous system. So I feel like, you know, you may love this person, you may miss them, you know, and you may have some difficulty seeing a way forward here, but things are changing for the better as you grow more empowered and, and able to control yourself, able to direct your anger towards some kind of productive outcome. So what is the outcome that you desire in this situation? What is the best possible outcome for everyone involved? I feel like that's an important meditation practice here is to visualize success. What does success mean in this? Yeah, healthy, healthy, independent, thriving, perhaps a, a very healthy living situation. You want a stable environment to live in. You don't want the unpredictability. You don't want the corrosive element that's eating away at you. This person may feel like it's eating them up inside. It's eating them up inside. That's what this whole reading feels like. But you are still, you have some kind of a new job, new money coming in. You've got an ace of pentacles. You have a new opportunity opening up for you. Something is over. You are transforming. You are changing your whole life. It's inevitable. This is, it's over. I mean, the, the Ten of Swords is right there, you know? It's just like the Seven of Swords is underneath it. There was some serious dishonesty, and I think that you've figured something out. Yeah? 
So there was some fighting, there was some immature behavior, even though I am seeing the first thing that came out is somebody who's much more emotionally mature than all of this. And yet we all have our, our, our flaws and our weaknesses. Somebody's weaknesses are getting the better of them in this situation and it's really destroying the harmony, the peace, the balance in, in an otherwise, I think otherwise this would be a good situation, but there is something going on here. Let's get, let's get a little bit more to clarify anything else that cancer, what does cancer need to know? Advice for cancer about this? We'll get some oracles. We'll get an unshakable inner peace and we'll get a systems oracle for you today. But um, I need to just see, is there anything else that cancer needs to know about this situation? Like this has caused a, a serious problem in this you're in this relationship and you're seeing it from another person's point of view or or you're trying to see it from a higher perspective it's like you are being called to see this relationship for what it is and it's not healthy right now okay the ten of swords it's over you don't want to be sitting in this you know, the worst of it is over. You don't want to stay in this Ten of Swords, Five of Swords energy. The Ten of Swords, again, it's like reiterating that this is over. It was painful, but the worst of it's over. It's it's like you don't want to continue to feed into this kind of melodramatic, abusive, toxic, painful situation. Something has been ruined and it feels really bad. But the good news is, is you've got a new opportunity here. You've got a new opportunity to start a new life, a fresh start, a new beginning coming towards you. You're getting ready to go and you're going to be a lot healthier once you have decided to end this self-sabotaging behavior, this cycle of abuse or toxicity or whatever this represents for you. It's a general reading for cancer. If you'd like personal details, we could do a personal reading. You could email me for that. Looks like someone's gonna try to apologize to you. Someone wants to reconcile with you. I see an apology, they miss you, they're sorry. They want a future together with you. They want to do better, they wanna step up, they wanna to try to change. Someone's gonna try to apologize to you for all of this. Can we clarify the Ten of Swords? What was this Ten of Swords, please? What's going on with this Ten of Swords? Can we clarify? Okay, the hanged man, the the two of pentacles and the lovers again. Something you've got to let it go. You have to, you're going to end up seeing this from a new perspective and deciding that your best option is to let it go. You have to surrender. You have to let this go in order to grow from this. Growth requires letting go, surrendering, giving up on certain self-sabotaging decisions and mindset and behavior. There's no more room for this in your life. You can't do this anymore. This constant up and down, this back and forth, juggling, spinning plates. Something has not been balanced and it's going to be rectified. It's going to be balanced out. I feel gui guided and called to read from the tarot mirror of the soul for the hanged man especially. Okay, the affirmation, because I can't remember off the top of my head right now, so we're just gonna read, that's okay. We can do that. So, it says, I um, okay, I let go and realize, follow and accept the will of the divine in my life, which reveals itself to me step by step. Mm. Clearing away old rubbish, breaking through rigid behavior patterns, full surrender to the higher self, freedom from narrow-mindedness and dogma. Mm. Deep surrender, seeing things from a new perspective, learning to see in a new way. It's the end of a situation or relationship which has been stuck. You're letting go, giving up, surrendering. The necessity of breaking through old behavior patterns. You can't do this anymore. It, it's like if you've lost trust in your own intuition, if you can't see a way forward, you know, if you're, if you're 
if you feel like, yeah, it just feels like something about this is, it's, I hate to be so dramatic about it, but this feels very dramatic. It's like doomed to failure. But in the midst of all this hopelessness, something wonderful can occur. You can no longer avoid seeing the naked reality. There's nothing left but to face it and let go. So you're going to have to face it. You have to face that this relationship is changing. That this relationship, this lover is like, again, this relationship, but the two of pentacles. You know, usually for me, the two of pentacles is a change for the better. So I'm getting this relationship will change for the better when you let go of whatever this self-destructive, toxic relationship behavior pattern that has been going on for too long. Okay, so we've got the page of cups here I'm clarifying with the judgment that came out again. So you're being called to surrender, to see this from a higher perspective, maybe to have greater empathy for yourself and others, greater empathy, sympathy, um, emotional openness, vulnerability, forgiveness, apology, accepted. Maybe do you need to apologize to somebody? Do you need to forgive yourself? Who do you feel like you need to forgive right now? Is there anybody who deserves your forgiveness? Is there any way of... Um, forgiving someone in your heart look at that king of cups not gonna there it is it's like you can't make this up king of cups it's all about emotional maturity is there a need for forgiveness in your life is there a need for empathy we've got the ten of cups wow so someone is working on it it's like you are rising up and becoming a much deeper more emotionally vulnerable emotionally available person this person whether it's you this king of cups i mean i got the king here twice and i've got the queen of cups here as well when you let this go and stop enabling it stop feeding into it stop participating in it and you're able to forgive yourself for, for everything and to forgive this other person, whoever this is. It could be this masculine. You know, it could be somebody that's been very toxic. I've got a queen of wands here, the moon, the queen of swords. So it was revealed to you perhaps that this person was, was cheating. Maybe they were cheating on you. Maybe they had other options. Maybe they were having secrets. They had a love affair. They had something going on. Yeah, and now you're going in a new direction. And you feel highly motivated to go in this new direction, even though it's, it feels like maybe a little scary, you're worried about the future, but you have this money coming in here. All right. Yeah, you do. The six of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. So you've got this money coming in here. This new opportunity, it's exactly what you need right now. In order to deal with this situation, it's only a matter of time, all right? But you're going to have to be completely honest about who you are. And you may even have to kind of fight for what you want, fight for what you need, or stand up for yourself in some kind of a way. Like you're looking at this and you are taking action and you are... I would say you're unstoppable or it's like you you kind of have this moral high ground. You have the upper hand and it's important for you not to stoop to anybody's level. Don't let somebody drag you into a fight. It's time for you to let go. It's time for you to stop participating in whatever this is. And if this is your reading, then this is your message. This is your story. You, you know, if it resonates for you, then that's your message. It's like, Letting go of the past requires that you also resolve this issue within yourself. No longer holding on to anger or pain. No longer holding on to resentment or negative emotions. Holding on to a grudge. Holding on to the past. Okay, if you want to go forward into the beautiful future that you are meant to receive, you have a new opportunity here to have a much better future for yourself. It's time for you to let the, let the past go. Let it go and step into a much more emotionally fulfilling chapter of your life. It's up to you, but that's what you're being called to do. That's what you're being guided to do, to see the higher purpose in this. 
the purpose in your pain, the purpose in the ending. There was a reason why this had to end and you're being called to recognize this now. Do you want to forgive this person? There's a, there is this idea that it's possible you could have a second chance together. It's possible that you two could work it out. If you want to, it's in the cards. You don't have to, obviously it's up to you. Perhaps you don't want to. Perhaps you, you wanna forgive this person and resolve it in yourself, but you don't want to reconcile. You want to move forward and move to a better future for yourself. That's acceptable too, completely valid, whatever you want to do. Do you want to give this person another chance? They are gonna ask you for another chance and it's possible that they could have changed. Maybe this was a wake up call. This was definitely somebody's wake up call that they could lose you for real. Maybe they end up getting sober because they hit rock bottom, but it's up to them to prove it to you. You can't do it for them and you can't keep enabling this same pattern of behavior. They're never gonna change if you keep allowing them to get away with it. And so it's like, apology accepted, but what about the accountability? So half of the apology, one half is like admitting that you were wrong, but then the other half is holding yourself accountable and changing your behavior. So we need to see behavioral changes if we're going to allow somebody to stay in our life after something like this. Are they gonna change? Are you gonna reconcile with this person? It's completely up to you. I see that it's possible. If you want to, you can. But you're gonna have to, I think, I think, I think there needs to be some separation or some uh, time apart to see this thing very clearly. I think there needs to be some distance and some meditation, some contemplation, some stillness, solitude and silence. You need a healthy living situation. You may need to be financially independent and, and live on your own or find some healthy boundaries Okay, because we're all on a journey here. We can forgive ourselves and others for making mistakes and for having flaws and, you know, for not knowing everything and for, for being stupid or whatever it is that, you know, we can, what can you forgive? Do you want to forgive this person? Because it looks like you have a very deep emotional bond together. It looks like the two of you, the lover's card came out twice. King and queen of cups are here. King of cups is here twice. Ten of cups. You may have a family together. You may have a long history together. You may have been together for a long time. Um, and, and the six of cups and the, and it's like this relationship, you could take it to a much deeper level. This could be the beginning of the next phase of your life together. But this issue has got to be worked out first. If they come to you and they apologize and they show you with their actions, not just saying it with their words, but they show you with their actions. They, they fix the problem. They, they hold themselves accountable. They change their ways. Maybe the two of you could actually be a lot stronger after this. This could lead to a beautiful place together. Either way, I see you, Cancer, going to a much more beautiful place into the future. So you need to meditate and focus on your personal success. What do you need? What kind of boundaries are you gonna have to set here? Because this five of swords, seven of cups, 10 of swords, twice, five of pentacles, like, devil like this is unacceptable and you're not going to accept this anymore you don't have to accept this person's apology or even if you do accept their apology you don't have to get back together but even if you do decide to resolve this issue that doesn't mean you necessarily have to reconcile but even if you do reconcile i don't think you should be accepting this kind of behavior if it hurts you like this and it looks like it did they hurt you and they're sorry are you going to take them back Let's get some Oracle of Inner Peace. What do we got? 2849 on the clock. Interesting. 2849 on the clock. Okay. Unshakable Inner Peace for Cancer, please. And we'll read from the book. The Unshakable Inner Peace Oracle for, for Cancer. Yeah, it's like you, you're trying to see the future here. You're trying to move forward. You're trying to get ready to go towards a new opportunity, the Ace of Pentacles twice. New job, new career, new home, getting what you really need, getting the support that you need, some somehow being exalted, okay? And I think you're trying to prepare yourself for this new chapter. And maybe this person is jealous or they're acting out. They're acting foolishly. They're acting stupid. They did something dumb. But they looks like they want to apologize. They're sorry and they want, they want a second chance to be together, to be a family together, to have 
the happily ever after. It, and, and I think that they are sincere. I just, I just hope to see some real change. And perhaps they will. Perhaps they get sober. Perhaps they get, they get a clue. This has been their wake-up call that they might actually lose you if they don't smarten up. So let's get unshakable inner peace number 16, the Midas touch. Things are working out in your favor. In what ways are you abundant right now? So the abundance, the ace of pentacles is here. The six of pentacles is successful, successful new career, successful new money opportunity, financial opportunity. And then you've got the emotional abundance of the 10 of cups. So let's read. You know who else had this yesterday was Sagittarius. Was it yesterday? Whatever. Sagittarius had the same one. So if you have Sagittarius in your chart, I would definitely recommend that you go watch the Sagittarius reading. Moon and Sagittarius especially. Okay, so let's read from the book. Number 16. Number 16. The Midas touch. Things are working out in your favor. Right now is ripe with possibilities. You have the Midas touch and everything you do can reap tangible rewards. This is the energy of abundance flowing to you and through you. We live in an abundant universe and there's plenty to go around. Right now, you can tap into the infinite power of this natural flow. Abundance is not always in the form of financial gain. It can be love, joy, peace, and harmony. Call in what you want more of in your life. Now is the time to celebrate the outcome you have been working towards. The energy around you is heightened, leading you to ultimate success. If you've been on the fence or unsure about something, take this as a sign from the universe to go for it. A big yes is being delivered. Things will work out in your favor. A divine source of energy supports your efforts and everything is working out in your favor. You have drawn this card as a nudge that your creative efforts will be rewarded. It is especially important to give yourself permission to be more of who you are by going for the dream in your heart. It will work out and you will get what you need. That's what I'm saying. You're going to get what you need here. All right. Everything you nurture and focus on with grace and love will grow. If any part of you is resistant to the goodness or wonders, is yeah, if you're wondering, is this good too good to be true? What if it all goes away? You need to know that this is your ego fear trying to prevent you from feeling the good. Divine love, source energy, and the universe are abundant, and you are a part of this universe. So this abundance is your birthright. Enjoy the flow of love, for all abundance is energy. Step into this powerful vortex and let yourself thrive. When you align with love and follow your heart, you will always be provided for. So ask yourself, in what ways am I abundant right now? Okay, so whatever you decide, say yes to yourself. Say yes to success. What does that look like? What does that mean for you in this situation? You can't go wrong. Things are definitely going to work out for your, in your favor. You're definitely going to get what you need. Maybe you've been struggling financially. Maybe somebody lost their job and this has been a problem. But you're getting a new one. And maybe it'll be a better one, you know? And then the two of you can work it out. Can you work it out? It looks like you're going to try to work it out with this person. And not everybody's going to resonate with that message. So please... Always follow your own intuition first. But, you know, it's not too good to be true. It's not going to all go away. You, you need to sit and feel good. You should focus on the good feelings right now. Because what you focus on, you're going to get more of it. Call in what you want in your life. Call in what you want more of. Because you're going to get more of what you really want. Getting what you want and what you need into the future. You have a renewed sense of hope and optimism after something kind of terrible happened between the two of you. Whatever happened, you know, the worst of it's over. You're going to get what you need, Cancer. Okay, let's get one systems oracle. One more card for Cancer, please. What does Cancer need to know before we go? I'll read from the book for this one as well. One systems oracle for Cancer. 
answer before we go. Thank you. One card. It says confluence. It's a confluence of events. That's what it reminds me of. It says confluence. So things are happening at the same time. Is that what confluence means? Let's, let's read. Number 34 says confluence. Interesting. Synergy, flow, sageness, union, and purpose. Okay, there's a purpose to your pain. There's a purpose to all this. There's a higher calling, a higher purpose to this union. The confluence card signifies a coming together of energies, ideas, or circumstances that create a powerful force for change, which is that death card. So things are changing. Things are metamorphosizing. You're changing directions here. You're going in a new direction and things are going to work out for you. So there's a confluence of events, situations, circumstances. Everything is working in your favor, is cons conspiring in your favor. The universe is conspiring in your favor, okay? This card represents the synergistic potential of combining strengths and resources like two rivers merging into one. So are the two of you going to merge into one? Are you going to combine your resources, combining your strengths? Embrace the opportunities that arise from this convergence, but be mindful of the need to navigate the currents with wisdom and discernment. Trust your intuition to guide you through the turbulence and towards a greater purpose. You're getting through the turbulence towards a greater purpose. So there's been some kind of divergence, separation, disconnection, lack of harmony, conflicting currents and disjointed paths. But that's being resolved. That's exactly, that's exactly what this entire reading has been about. And I love this deck so much. I love these two decks for being able to sort of like put it all together, to recap, to summarize the whole reading. Trust your intuition to guide you through the turbulence and towards a greater purpose. I love that for you, Cancer. I'm going to leave it there. That's what I've got for you today, Cancer. I hope this was helpful. I hope it was of service to you. If you enjoyed this and you'd like a personal reading, my email's in the description box below. You can email me. I'll let you know how it works. You let me know what you need. But in any case, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today. And I'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye.